In this example, we are going to look at a mosaic plot. Mosaic plots are also known as Marimako diagrams, uh, and it's a graphical method for visualizing data from two or more qualitative variables. Qualitative variables are categorical variables. It's just another way of describing categorical variables. All right, in a mosaic plot, the counts are represented as rectangular areas. The important part of the diagram to pay attention to is the length of the sides and how the side lengths compare for the variables. One advantage of a mosaic plot is that you are quickly able to compare two categorical variables. Here's a mosaic plot called Older Brothers Are Jerks, constructed from a survey of third grade students in California. So the individuals in this study, as I've written over here in my note, are third grade students in California. The x-axis here is measuring belief in Santa Claus, uh, and we can see it's broken up into two possible answers, whether the third graders have belief in Santa Claus or no belief in Santa Claus. The y-axis is measuring whether the students have an older sibling. So we see uh, they're measuring the older sibling and then their gender. So the choices here are no older sibling, older brother, and older sister. I'm not sure what they did for students who have um, both older brothers and older sisters. We'd have to track down the researchers and ask them. So I put a note here, belief in Santa Claus measured on the x-axis and older sibling and their gender are measured on the y-axis. So we have a question here to think about. Do you believe that having an older brother is independent of whether or not a third grade student in California believes in Santa Claus? So if the relationship was independent, that would mean there's no difference in belief or no belief in Santa Claus, regardless of whether these students have an older brother. If we look at the mosaic plot, we see right away there's a big difference in the students who have older brothers, whether they have belief or no belief in Santa Claus. The older brothers is the center of the y-axis sibling variable choices. For the students who believe in Santa Claus, a very small amount of them have older brothers. For the students that have no belief in Santa Claus, a very large amount of them have older brothers. So there seems to be an association. So we would say this is not an independent relationship. There's an association between having an older brother and being more likely to have no belief in Santa Claus. So we say here it's not independent. From the mosaic plot, we see there is a relationship between no belief in Santa Claus and having an older brother. Since the mosaic plot bars are not equal for each older sibling option, we conclude the belief in Santa Claus does depend on whether a student has an older brother. And then I put a note down here with the asterisk, if the relationship was independent, the bars would be equal in area. So when we're asked to consider if a mosaic plot is independent or associated, we have to look to see is there approximately equal areas for all the groups analyzed, or do we see different areas? If we do see different areas, we say it's an association, not an independent relationship.